Okay, what is up guys? I got a new review for you right here. And this is the Saddleback Passport Wallet. And I have it here in chestnut color. Uh, this reddish brown kind of color. And uh, let me start off by saying that this is a fantastic piece of kit. And uh, taking a look at the outside here, you can see that they're using really fat leather. And uh, the front is just plain like this. and I can only imagine how beautiful this will get with age. Right here we have the Cellback logo. Taking a look on the other side, we have a flap for airplane tickets or receipts or stuff like that. And opening it up, we have a slot here. This little flap for your passport. And uh, this is a standard European passport. And it just fits real nice in there. And taking that out, you can see that they're using the same kind of really nice leather in here. And right here, we have credit card slots. We have two of them. I have one card in here. It's my medical insurance card. And uh, you can also fit a card in here. Uh, keep in mind that these two slots can be stretched to fit any number of ca cards. I would imagine that you could get even maybe, maybe even t up to 10 cards in, in these if you stretch them. Although, if you stretch them that much, you won't be able to fit just one card in them, because the leather will be too big, and uh, one card will just flop around there and fall out. Underneath these, uh, these card slots, you have an additional pocket right in here, and uh, you can fit a passport in there if, if you like as well, if you want some added security, that is just fine. And uh, right up on the top here, you have a uh, money money spot. And uh, I have some Chinese currency right in here. Don't ask me why, uh, but I do. And uh, right in here, this whole side is lined with pigskin. It's the same material that they're using right here as well. And uh, they claim that this is the second most durable leather next to kangaroo skin uh, and I can honestly just agree with that this seems to be really really durable uh, so what do I think about this wallet I think it's a great wallet uh, this is with RFID shielding by the way and uh, I really like the fact that it has a hundred year warranty However, I really don't see why this should be as expensive as it is. Uh, even though this is a great quality piece of kit and I would still recommend getting it, I think that it is a tad too bit expensive, especially the RFID shielded one. Um, but still, still, I, I highly recommend this. And uh, uh, I really only have one complaint, and it isn't really as much of a complaint as uh, as I, something that I really would like to inform you guys for. Uh, and th that is the fact that this is just a kind of thin piece of leather. I was actually expecting expecting this to be a whole lot bigger or fatter, if you like. Um, and when I got it, I was kind of kinda worried about this because really I didn't want this to flap around like it does uh, or like it did anyway um, however when you have your passport in here this feels so much more sturdier and I can see why Dave who owns the, the, the Saddleback company um, would actually do this because if you would have lined this with pigskin this would have been really stiff and with the passport in here, it would be hard to get to your cash. So, just want you to keep that in mind when buying this, that this is kind of flimsy. Even though it's it's great quality leather, don't, uh, don't think anything else, but it's kind of thin. Uh, also, <laughs> I really didn't think that I was going to get this dog logo of blue, his, his 
well, his late dog. Um, I really didn't think that I was gonna get that. I think that was just I thought that, that was just uh, in the photos because he had that one in his private ones or his personal items. But no, he actually has the logo in every item that he ships right now. I believe even the bags. So just keep that in mind. If you don't like dogs, well, you're out of luck. But anyway, I highly recommend getting this. Uh, it's absolutely the best passport wallet that, that I have ever owned. I, yeah. So anyway, thanks, guys. Um, if you if you feel like it, maybe leave a like, comment. I will try to respond to all of them. So, bye guys.